Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this press conference with Sorrel Avia. Um, as usual, I'd just like to remind everyone to please ensure your monitors are muted. You put your request to ask a question on the chat panel, and you ask one question at a time. Um, we'll start with Tienas, Zahir, Fidos, and then Telford. Go ahead, Tienas. How's it, Sorrel? Um, well, about it. Uh, I just want to ask a bit about your opening partnership with Dean. You've started to get an eight innings now and passed 50 twice and like 100 also twice. Um, what do you think makes uh, you guys uh, click so early in your partnership? I think we share a good relationship off the field. So you kind of get to know each other um, and what makes each other uh, kind of tick. Um, so I think that, you know, taking that off field relationship onto the field. Um, you know, it makes you understand your partner a little bit better um, and what, and like I said, what, what makes him tick, what makes me tick. And yeah, we understand that quite well um, about each other at the moment. Is that here? Hi, Saral. Uh, well done today. Just um, uh, on regards to Keshav and Simon, and, uh, you know, they've done it two, two weeks in a row that like in the twilight, they really you know, they, they picked up wickets at, at, at night in that night period just before the close. How difficult is it for an opening batsman to to face those guys with a new ball? Yeah, um, we were chatting, and myself and Dean were actually chatting about it before we went out to um, field. Uh, we experienced that last week in Durban, a uh, couple of overs, and I must say it, as an opener, it makes your heart flutter a little bit. Um, it's, it's not a nice period, that twilight period. Um, and, you know, we've got two world-class uh, spinners. Um, so, yeah, it makes it even worse if you've got to go and face them. It is. Sorry. <clears throat> Hi, Saral. What about it? Uh, Saral, can I just ask you a little bit about your experience of, of being in the field? I mean, we saw a couple of guys getting getting hit and some quite nice, you know, checking on each other. You know, has the mood maybe changed a little bit? And, and what has it been like fielding where you've been fielding and getting hit and hitting other people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously you don't do that on purpose. Um, it's it's obviously just happens in in the game of cricket. But obviously you got to check, you know, on your opposition if they're okay, and then you got to carry on playing as hard as possible. So, um, like I said, you don't do that on purpose. But it's it's all in good spirit um, of cricket at the moment. Talford, how's it, Charles? Well played. <clears throat> um, I realize um, uh, Charles Langfeld's absence at the moment doesn't doesn't affect you as a batter much because you know he's the bowling coach, except maybe for throwdown purposes. But um, what I, what I'm getting at is what does it what do you think it takes away from a side when a when a coach is not around? You know what is what does that do to a team? Um, yeah, obviously we've got experienced um, um, guys in our team. We've got experienced coaches as well. So everyone sh shares a bit of knowledge um, amongst each other, especially the bowling unit. Um, so yes, we obviously are, are missing a bowling coach, but uh, we wish him well. And um, like I said, we've got other guys that are, are helping out and uh, I think it's going well so far. Colin? Hi, Sarah. Was it always the plan to set them to bat for half an hour or so at the close, whatever the, the run situation was. Yeah, so we had a we had a minimum um, uh, score 400 lead, um, you know, that we were looking at before we were going to declare. And obviously a certain amount of overs uh, to get that 400 lead. So it was always in the plan. Um, and I suppose that's why um, you saw some positive shot making uh, while we were batting. Okay. For those. So just on yourself, uh, personally, obviously, you've uh, come into the side this summer and, and we've seen, you know, your partnership with Dean has been has been pretty successful. Um, where do you feel you stand going forward? We've got some big uh, away tours coming up and, and do you feel you've put yourself in a really good position to take ownership of the opening spot? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's uh, basically I've got to control the controllables. Um, you know, and that's me batting out there. And if, if I if I make little mistakes, and I'm not putting my hand up um, for future stuff, so you know, I've got to I've got to analyze, I've got to relook um, at certain things. And luckily, I've got got some good time. It's obviously the end of our season now. So, um, like I said, control the controllables. Um, just keep batting, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some bigger scores on the board to help myself. Um, Zahir, and we'll, um, we'll finish with Ken. Um, uh, so I'll just go back on the spinners again. Uh, obviously, you face the guys quite often in the nets, and and 
can you tell us just the differences between Keshav and, and Simon and, and and just the do you hear the revs on the ball if you feel up close and that type of stuff? Yeah, they're obviously very experienced campaigners. Um, they've played a lot of cricket for a lot of years. Um, so they know their craft um, through and through. And, um, you know, they, they, they've got different uh, variations. They've got, they bowl at different speeds as well. And they've bowled in different conditions around the world. So, like I said, they're experienced campaigners. They, they know their craft. And um, I'd like to think that, you know, their partnership um, stands us in very good stead going forward as a South African test side. And finally, Ken. Thanks, Sips. Uh, hi, Sarah. Well done. Well batted. Um, giving yourselves two and a bit days to uh, bowl out Bangladesh, was that more to do with the weather or uh, the state of the pitch? How, how is the pitch playing? How are you guys seeing it? Um, I think it's it's a it's it's a um, state of mind. It's our mentality, you know. Dean's um, driving it into us that we want to be positive cricketers. Um, we want to lead from the front. Um, so that's a it's a positive decision um, that that he's taken and that we take as a team. Um, so you know you know we've got to we've got to follow through with that. And it's that's what we're trying to instill in this in this test side and and obviously in South African cricket, um, leading from Dean and and coach. Gotcha. Um, and you're on the pitch. I mean, I'm sure you guys have been watching now the last last bit, um, that new ball's ragging. So we obviously knew from day one that, um, you know, the wicket was going to get a bit a bit slower and was obviously going to turn quite nicely. So, you know, we're exploiting that turn um, at the moment and uh, hopefully it carries on tomorrow. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We'll chat to you tomorrow.